Welcome, my name is Ricky, and today we are starting a new series on the channel. I don't have a name for it yet, but basically we're going to play through an entire game in one episode to get one or two or a few different achievements. And we're kicking off the series in Shadow of the Tomb Raider with One with the Jungle, which is an achievement where you have to beat the game on the One with the Jungle difficulty. Just to be clear, there is a more difficult game setting, but uh, I I'm not going to do that, and I'll explain why. I just got done playing through the game on easy mode in New Game, so that way we can do this in New Game Plus, because every single person I saw that talked about this says to do it in New Game Plus. You get all of your perks, you get all of your weapons, you have all of your, like, inventory crafting materials. So, New Game Plus, yes. So I get to pick three new perks that get added to the game. I can pick Eagle Path, Jaguar Path, or Serpent Path. I'm going with Serpent Path. That's the stealthy path. So as I mentioned, there is Deadly Obsession, which is the hardest difficulty and an achievement. But we're not going to do that. And there is one reason and only one reason. Game saves only at base camps. Now this doesn't sound bad until you remember that the platforming in this game can sometimes be quite janky and then Lara just falls into a river or onto a bunch of spikes or into lava or some crap like that. And then guess what you have to do? You have to start after like 15, 20 minutes of platforming. You gotta start all the way over at the beginning. And I just don't think I can deal with that. So instead, we're going to go with one with the jungle, which is basically the same thing with the exception of that i do really like the way this game starts off with this plane crash thing and then you jump back in time and then you're you know two days before you get into anything else it's kind of nice basically i started recording this using deadly obsession and that was my plan was deadly obsession and it uh became very apparent that this game's jankiness it just doesn't work i got almost all the way through the first kind of exploration section here here in mexico uh not this section i got through this section just fine the next section where you're tr going after the actual dagger itself and yeah that i made it through almost the entire thing of that and and i missed time not miss aimed a jump because the game was like yeah we're gonna do this and i fell and i was like yeah i'm done this is where i kept coming back to by the way was right here this moment every time i would fail which was actually only twice, so I should say every time. The two times I failed. Edge shot. Alright. I'm assuming that stealth kills are still going to be one-hit kills. I didn't get far enough in the Deadly Obsession to know if that was true for Deadly Obsession. Because that was the only combat I did was right there. So you may have noticed I'm using a keyboard and a mouse for this bit. Because you may have noticed those are the keyboard controls. I have a Stadia controller literally right here in case the game gets kind of difficult. The on-rails sections almost required to have a controller. There were several sections when I was just playing through the game on easy mode to get into... Uh, to get into New Game Plus to get all the perks and stuff and weapons upgraded and all that. Where I had to switch over to the uh, keyboard... Uh, to the controller because the keyboard and the mouse... It just... I couldn't, I couldn't do it, and then I would do it in like one go with the controller. I am very much also nervous about the underwater sections, although I do have uh, the underwater perks. Although I don't know if the challenge tomb perks come through or not. With the underwater sections, the uh, eel, which is about to make a attack, and the piranhas give me the creeps. I'm not a big fan of them. So this is actually the second place where I fell and went, I'm not doing all that again. I'm just not. And what happened was, the jump, I lined up the jump ever so slightly wrong. Just wrong enough that I missed the grab. I will say that I do prefer, if I'm going to do these cranking things, the keyboard and the mouse to the controller, because I'm just holding a button down versus rotating the, you know, the, the left thumbstick like I'm actually doing something. Don't take the knife. Don't take the knife. Making the knife is bad. Where's like, kind of do wonder, like... Lara takes the knife here, but Trinity was also going to take the knife. So while it is a little bit her fault, it doesn't appear to be a safe way to take the knife. So you just gotta take the knife. Although she looked like she just pulled it through the rocks instead of up and over, but okay. Let's make sure everything's copacetic here. Everything's copacetic, dude. I'm very sorry. I mean, I'm not. But this is kind of my first real taste in combat. Bye-bye. Oh, cool. They can't even see his body. So, loot. 
when he gets here, it's and be hold. Great. Both of you go check it out. That would be really cool if both of you went and checked it out. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so that guy can be seen, but I think he's being seen by these three people right here. I'm wondering... Can I shoot three arrows at these three guys? Well, that sucked. Okay, video game, you can't tell me I can do that and then not let me do that. Well, that went very poorly. Wow, that was... Where did that guy come from? Why am I here? Could you guys not throw grenades, please? Thank you. Okay, see, combat's not too much worse than it was in easy mode. Uh, also, that went very poorly and probably might... I don't know if it actually would have gone better, to be honest with you. And now we get to play this fun mini game. Uh, this is another section where had I had to redo all of what I just did just to get through here. I don't mind the on-rails sections, but I definitely mind the on-rails sections if I had to do them perfectly every single time all the way through the whole way. I did take all of the stealth perks over here. My new ones are Serpent's Rage, Perma Chain taken out when two nearby enemies are stunned. Okay. Lure traps are upgraded to an incendiary bomb. Oh! So when I was like hoping, hey, I hope two of them go over there, that's why two of them went over there. I just thought it was the game just being nice to me. And then Serpent Evasion enemies are less accurate at determining a location after returning to concealment. We're in the jungle now. I have to sharpen this knife. And the good news is I can sharpen it because normally you have to go find salvage, but I have salvage. So that's yeah. three fangs to it. Greatly increases fire resistance. So how is this useful? I specifically got the like stealthy crap. So I'm starting to wonder if maybe I should have done a little more research on what you get with New Game Plus. I'm gonna do that real fast, hang on. And now I at least get access to my gear and I can at least look at that bow. I can get my gear back. You know, cause the bow might be the most interesting element of all of these weapons. So here's my new bow. It, okay, this does add poison damage, but I did just read online that as it turns out, you can buy all this stuff. Poison damage is nice. I don't know how good poison damage is in this game. Miguel? Miguel? So I think Miguel's dead. Just a hunch. But also, I, I am wearing the skin of the thing that killed Miguel in the first game. So that's... That's a thing. Oh yeah, here's where we're going to have to kill the Jaguar. Wow, this bow is um, slow because I'm out of arrows. Just constantly be crafting arrows. Thank you, Laura. You can stop that. We're going to constantly craft arrows. So I poisoned it, hopefully. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Run away. Okay, heal. Thank you, video game. It's like, surely we're getting to the point where I can stab it, right? I mean, it kind of sucks. It's a majestic creature. It was trying to kill Lara, but still. I couldn't even tell you if that was harder or easier on the other difficulties. Because normally, uh, did I not just stab that thing in the head? Or is this the other one? That might be the other one. Yeah, no, that was the other one. Bye, Jaguar. On three, two, one. That's not how on three works. That's defense, and that's focus. I was like, no, I got it. I forgot I had all of those other perception things to kill this stupid... 
Jaguar. This is the Jaguar skin I'm wearing currently, by the way. You know, they take away the, uh... The indicators when you're climbing around on these things. But it's still pretty obvious where you're supposed to climb sometimes. Right? Like, the ivy's not growing through here. Sometimes it won't be obvious, and I'll have to rely on the memory of me having just played through this game. Let's see if I can stealth my way through this section. I've never actually been able to do this before. And... No, I did not stealth my way through this section. Well, okay, so I think what you're supposed to do... is use the water to stealth your way through it but i did not want to do that and dead dead gum okay okay well that went poorly so what i was hoping to do in case you were wondering was shoot this guy then create a trap for him, for his buddies, to come over and investigate, and then blow them up, and then be left with maybe one or two more people. It, it did not go that well. You know what I want to do? I want to do this. Um, no video game? I'm going to let him kill me. That was some trash. Because he should have... He should have gone crazy. We've been overreacting to things. There we go. Okay. Now. Someone go check out the body at least. Thank you. Did that get all three of them? Because there were three people left. Yes, it did. I have to say, this is a pretty intimidating place. Look at all this crap that's just on fire. It's just on fire. And it doesn't ever seem to want to stop burning. Oh, piranhas. Okay. So I just want to say how much I hate the swimming sections. This is why, by the way, these underwater swimming sections, this is a huge reason why I would not want to play, uh, or at least to do this kind of a video with Deadly Obsession. Oh, piranhas got me. Nothing I can do about it. There's literally nothing you can do about it when the piranhas see you. Oh, here we go. All right. Let's get this guy strung up. In the canopy where they can't see him. What are they so afraid of? That's what they're afraid of. Those things, those human beings that they keep calling creatures. Right. So we'll string this guy up. And now, I'm going to try. There we go. I got it to work that time. Okay. Let him kill his buddies. We'll do it to him, too. Meanwhile, we'll just jump over here to get a better view of all of this other stuff. Okay, and now... So, they can see him, so we're not going to do that. But what I can potentially do... Is what I've been doing. Ooh. Did that get more than one person? I think it did. Nice. Oh man, I really like that. This is going to be useful. I do like this trial. I think of the three trials you go through, one where you swim, I assume, one where you do the climbing spider thing, and then the eagle one, which is also climbing. But I like this one. This is what I really like about this stuff. Is he just the whole point of it is you got to get it turn in and then some slightly tricky platforming admittedly not super tricky there's some harder jumps you got to do oh 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 no this this section's the section that would really piss me off because i would make that one dumb mistake where i would not and we just we're just moving so slowly. We're just moving slow cast. It's I, it's almost as if you should have been running. You know what I mean? And falling off the ledge cuz I missed time to jump. Ah! I just slipped off the ledge. So I was up here and um I mean I see where to go, but I was just kind of looking and I just apparently you can slip off this ledge. This section worries me. 
worries me a lot. I think I think this is a section we're coming up on. See what I mean? Look, the aiming was just slightly off, and then it just gets exacerbated as you go. I will say I do somewhat like this section. Where you fill this thing with... Well, blood isn't flammable, I don't think, but oil is. I mean, it's disgusting. But also... It is pretty fun. Is this some kind of bloodletting chamber? I don't know. Usually when you say stuff like that, the answer is yes. Did I do it right? I'm pretty sure I did it right. I can vaguely see it. I don't want to go all the way down there because the panda butt to get all the way back up here. Yeah, I did it right. Okay. I guess it's not a pain, but it's just... There's no reason. Yeah, there we go. And all the oil magically burns out. I mean, we're not even remotely close to that point. Yeah, no, okay, nope, that was my bad. This is not the section I was thinking of. When I said that this, I was worried about this section, this wasn't the section I was worried about, this the, the next bit that I'm worried about, the one where you actually get the box. Oh yeah, it's an on-rails section. I think I'll be okay doing it without a controller, but... And it looks like you got multiple paths to go to, but you definitely don't. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Sorry about this. Um, some of these have, uh... White paint on them. That's interesting. Ow. Ow. So now we're gonna go rescue the prince. But before we do that, we have to kind of make our way there. Okay, so... Uh... I can't get headshots on the first shot. That's good to know. Because these guys have helmets on. We're gonna try a smoke... There we go. That was not a stealth kill, admittedly, but that's okay. That went actually pretty smoothly, all things considered. Now, when I did this in my this looks like the right place. Uh, in my easy playthrough and gearing up for this, this went very badly. And what I mean by very badly is uh, I got spotted pretty much right away and had to kill everybody quite quickly. I never really could get stealth back. Oh. Yeah, one of you guys needs to go investigate the trap I set. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Thank you for checking the trap I set. You are welcome. Dad gum. Okay. All right. Uh, it's shotgun time. That's what happened last time. Except I didn't get a cool stealth kill and blow up several people in the process. What we really need is a whistle. That's what I need. I need the ability to whistle. Now, I'm just saying, we could get you guys guns. Bow and arrow is great for hunting. It's great for silence. It's great for stealth. But, like, we could get you just straight up some guns. Earlier, I was talking about a section that I wasn't looking forward to. And I thought we were at that section, and we weren't. We're coming up on that section. I think I gotta do a bit more climbing and swinging and stuff. 
Well, that's quite horrifying. This might be the most terrifying section of this game, too, by the way. Like, if you're... Like, I know it's not a horror game, but, like, this is a little bit unsettling. At, at best, it's at least unsettling. And at worst, you get jump-scared by that, which I kind of forgot was going to happen, but didn't get jump-scared by, at least. Okay. Okay, I didn't mean to blow that thing up, but that's okay. They keep coming. Oh, this is bad. Uh, you're not a shotgun. You're not a shotgun. Ah, ah, ah! Get away, get away, get away, heal! How? Ha ah. Shoot, get away, get away, get away, heal. Is that it? Time to move. Okay, that was it. Okay. That's what I was worried about. More than any of the other times you got to fight these guys in this section was that one. Because I think that's the most intense time you fight them. But the shotgun's really good at taking care of them and also every other enemy because it's a shotgun. And in what game isn't... Or, I mean, I, I, I can't think of a game where shotguns aren't, like, the best weapon for that kind of encounter. Okay. Now I gotta say, once again, really impressive. Was that it? Just that one? No. It was not. Oh, I see what to do. I see what to do. I have already forgotten what to do. I mean, I knew what I needed to do and that I had to climb all the way up there, but I've forgotten all this other crap. I mean, I understand what they're doing. Like, I understand that they're coming at me because I'm going after the box. But also, do they not know the box isn't there? Oh, that took way too many arrows to take her take that that one down. There's another one climbing up there. That's odd. All right. There we go. Wheel number 1 is on and I see them in the background. Where is the other one coming from? Oh, right there. But it worries me. There we go. Keep loading. I think we're good. But I have no shells for this. Anyway, I have two. Two shells and three incendiary shells. Here we go. Okay, it was my silenced pistol, which is very loud. And I keep forgetting that I can, you know, do this thing where I've got endurance. I've got a focus thing, which lets me slow down time a bit. Okay, back to the shotgun, because I have shells for it now. Again, I can do this. There we go. And I can do this. Okay. There we go. Laura put her gun away. That means I'm probably safe to finish this. There we go. Where's 
And now for, again, just not a super fun section where we're just... There's another on-rails thing, which... Like, I don't mind the on-rails stuff, but it's nowhere near as good with a keyboard and a mouse. Could you guys stop blowing up the stuff, please? Thank you. Making this escape much harder. I'm sorry. No one may enter. What if I just killed them, though? Like, then I could get in a lot faster. The game won't let me get out my bow. I didn't think so. I do like this next section here coming up. Where you're kind of stealthing around with Unaratu. Bye-bye. And here's another guy. Bye-bye. Uh... He saw. That's fine. Because there you go. Now she's got a bow. Although I'm pretty sure she took that other dude's bow. Whatever. And one arrow. That's it. You just want one arrow? Why can't there just be a ladder to these important plot point things, you know? I want the magic one-shot bow, by the way. That's what I want. I want the magic one-shot bow. Uh-oh. And now we have this area. Which I don't like. So I've done this several times now. I like using these fear arrows because they don't... But none of them are attacking any of the uh, compatriots. I mean, they're dying, but they're not attacking their compatriots. I've shot him like six times, but okay. One of you guys go do this. That's way too loud. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, so that was really frustrating. Okay, so this was bad. I was trying to get mud on me. And one of these guys saw it. Actually, he's not that bad. Because he's now way out of the way of all of his buds. Which means that I can do this. Off the wall. Into the bushes. And then watch those two guys walk around and be killed by it. Or just that guy. Uh, Really? Who saw me? Apparently I had to do that to kill him. I didn't realize there was another person or I wouldn't have taken him down. Because what I thought was happening, truly what I thought was happening was there were two people and I could kill that guy because the other guy was going to come at me and get blown up by this and we'd be fine. But no, that's not what happened. Take his gun! Come on. Rando guy. Yep, stand right there. That's where I need you to stand. Did he see the dead body? Or is he just conveniently walking over here? Just take the gun! You really need to be paying better attention. Uh, dead shot from Arrow. The Arrowverse wannabe. Bye bye. Now they have, unfortunately, thermal goggles. I can cover myself in mud and they won't see it, but yeah, get closer. No, get closer to the beeping thing. Really? I'm done. I am pressing the F key, video game. Yeah, no, I died. Okay, so, here's what I have to do. I need to climb up into that vegetation instead. Then, maybe... 
at least two of them will go over there, and they won't wander over here and find me, like the last guys did. Well, I'm just going to hang out right here this time to actually see them, because I might be able to get, if, like, two of them are killed by the explosion, then maybe the third one that'll be over here I can stealth kill, and then trigger another bomb. Since that's the only thing I have in my arsenal right now as distractions. Okay, that only got one of them. No! Alright, well. And no one can see him. So, goodbye. Okay. That was the smoothest it's gone so far. I also have this guy who will go, who people won't notice, and I can, I can get close enough to take him out, to make sure no one can see him. This is when I wish you could move bodies and stuff though, because if I could move the body, here we go, here we go, both of you go investigate the body, go, in there and investigate the body. No, don't stand there. Go in there. Well, now this is going to be bad. Okay, well, they found that one. How, how is this person being seen? Not anymore, they're not. Okay, well, that's one down. There's another one. There's one that's just hanging out over here. All right, you know what? I think I'm going to let those guys live. Oh, hey, look what I'm about to get, aside from a bow. It's a recipe for a hallucinogen. Sometimes used in war. All right, now. Dude. Dude, stop just blind firing and actually, like, attack these people. At least I can do this. Let's take that guy out. You should take at least one of them out. He might take both of them out. He did. Maybe he did. That didn't work. Didn't work out quite the way I wanted it to do. Oh, it did! It did work out! Dude's going crazy. You just can't tell, because he's... It was a stealth kill and everything. Okay. That went surprisingly well. I don't understand Rourke in this game. They need her alive so she can find the box. And yet he has decided that in fact she has to die. And they're probably not going to find the box without without her. Okay, hang on. Okay. We got to do a couple of things. Let's heal, endurance, Focus. Okay, there's one explosion. There we go. Yeah, that focus helped a lot. I keep forgetting about it. I need to get through here without getting seen. Did you come over this way? All right, well, he's still not able to be seen, so. No! He wasn't able to be seen! That is some trash game. Okay, this time, next is you guys walking over here and getting blown up. That's what's next. Do not stand there. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't have a choice on that one. Alright. If the game's gonna be garbage... I was really kind of open to do this thing stealthy, but... Really? Alright, fine. Let him do his little killing thing, hopefully. Oh, two of them! I got two of them! We'll get him too. Hopefully he'll shoot the other way. Not at Lara. And then this one. Now he's getting seen. This is what I should have done last time. 
I uh, can't make any more than that, which is exciting news. Now let's see if he goes over there. This might hurt me a bit. This is gonna hurt. Or not. It's right here. It's beeping. It's the beeping thing right here. I'm pointing at it. Go investigate the body. Thank you. Oh, it didn't hurt me. Sweet. Now I just have one more guy to take care of. And taken care of. So we got one down. This one is going to require a little bit more stealth. That shadow looks as... The shadow looks as... What? What now? I didn't hear you. I didn't catch that last part. So now... I want... To go over here. And then go way the heck over here. I'll take point. And wait for these guys to pass. I can't shake this feeling that something bad is just around the corner. Yeah, it's uh, Lara and the Killing Fields. See, now I didn't kill most of those guys. Uh, but that was not what I wanted to do. Where is the exit? There it is. Now, this section, you absolutely 100% need to kill everybody. So we need to get tough, and we need to get perceptive and focused. <laughs> I shot him off the wall. I mean, he's still alive, but I shot him off the wall nonetheless. Did I get them all finally? Yes, I did. Okay, good. So it is time to beat the game. I will say that the parts that have worried me about this game so far, I haven't had a problem with. But the thing that has worried me the most is this final section. I mean, I'll give you this. It's at least a kind of fun boss fight, you know? A lot of times games like this, the final boss isn't a final boss. It's just a, here's a million enemies, which uh, he does have ads. But, you know, it's got more of a Zelda-esque vibe to the boss fight compared to like a... Bioshock Infinite style ending, where it's just, here's a million enemies, kill them all. You know what we need? We need a lot of very, very angry, kind of feral humans. I have to say though, this whole final section, it there's some frustrating bits in it, sure. I, I, do, I do think the whole setting is quite nice. You know, I just, I really do enjoy the set piece design, I guess, for lack of a better word. I think of the three reboot Tomb Raider games, I think this is the best ending from a design standpoint and also from an actual standpoint because the first one's not bad. The second one is awful. This is the part I really like. <laughs> Where all of these guys are like. She's what? Uh, that can't be good. Wait, they're on her side now? I thought they weren't on anybody's side. No, they're on our side. But th this is where it gets a little on Railsy, admittedly. I just love how you just, you're just listening to the Yashiel just wipe out these Trinity soldiers. It's fantastic. <laughs> Go up. <laughs> Keep climbing. Look at them, they're swarming the copter. It's so cool. Like, I don't see how you say this is the worst in the series when it has that moment in it. They took down a helicopter with no guns. I mean, it was a little kamikaze-ish because they all kind of went with them, but... Or at least some of them went with them. How are you not dead? I've shot you like 14 times with bullets. Yeah, I don't like it when enemies become bullet sponges. I was like, crap! Oh, wait, nope, that was a yak shield. I mean, I might not be able to stop you, random person who said that I think it was Rourke. But you are about to die. Really? Thank you. Alright, we're enough with this. Okay, go go up. And there's Rourke. And bye bye. I think he might be dead, guys. Yeah. 
See, this is what I wish someone would be like, I am! No, I am! No, I am! And to just descend into complete chaos. And here we go. Okay, well, first we have to wait for him to monologue, but then here we go. There are other guys running around in here. I'm not sure who's seeing this guy right now. No one. That wasn't the button. I mean, it was the button I meant to hit. I meant to actually hold. I'm taking out these guys first. Nope, he's still not dead. Now he's dead. So we'll start with this guy, I guess. Nope, not him. Hang on. We'll start with this first. I don't- I didn't get all of them, I don't think. I think I still have a few. And more show up, so it's not like it matters. Where did that other guy go? Ah, uh, I'm out of that, okay. Who is shooting at me? You know, seriously, who's still shooting at me? Also, I really don't need this gun out. Like, I need more shotgun shells, but... What? Okay. That's also... I don't know why it got my... That's the gun I want out. Focus and endurance. Or... That's cool. This is cool. This is absolutely cool. Wow, this just does no damage. Oh, now I gotta fight him. I forgot I need to do this. She's about to steal the knife from him, though. Get... Oh my good lord, run. Just run. We're just gonna... We're gonna run, we're gonna heal, we'll, we'll get more endurance going, that's fine. I hate the fact that it's stupid, dumb... Okay, uh, we might have a problem, I'm out of complete- I'm completely out of shotgun shells. There we go. I don't think I'm done yet. Uh, I might be done. Oh my good lord. Okay, this is getting really frustrating. Okay, we got, we got, we got to do more endurance, I guess. Okay. Now, I think I'm done. Oh, maybe not. Okay, I don't know where the heck it just put me. Okay, so it put me in a weird spot, but it didn't put me at the beginning of this fight again. There we go. Okay, this, this is it. Okay, I should have turned on focus sooner. That might have helped. That was frustrating. There it is. One with the jungle. In all honesty, I thought it was going to be harder than that. Dying only once in that final fight, I genuinely thought it was going to be harder than that. This has been One with the Jungle in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.